They say that Treviso is the little Venice of Italy. It's got waterway canals, it's got a similar vibe, the prices are a lot lower and tourism is a lot less also. Venice, you've got over tourism, crowds, and slightly higher prices. Venice versus Treviso, which one is worth your visit? <laughs> I booked my ticket manually, Nam booked it right behind me on her app before me and I'm still waiting for my for my print out. Wow. Always remember to validate your ticket. Doesn't hurt to be double validated. That's how easy it is. It's kind of like here we are. In fact we could probably book onward tickets from here. Yep. On we go. And on that note, the scarf is going to go back on because it's quite chilly. Here we are in Treviso. Like silly is in haha. -ha. No, S I L E. I think the E is not silent. So it doesn't sound right. Silly River. No, I don't. I don't know. into Treviso and Nam and I decided we need to fuel up, we need to power up, right? So, we're gonna start off with dessert. <laughs> I wonder what this little thing is. I wonder if that's a cream, cream or... It's like a different kind of cream, but a sweet cream. Like a sweet cream? Yes, yeah, sweet cream. Oh, nice. Okay. It's really good. Okay. It is a little fudgy, but with nuts. And the cream is kind of like a nice counterbalance of the dog. Yeah. Kind of like milk. Gives it a little milky flavor. Okay, looking at drinks. Um, sparkling water is 150 euro. Canned drinks is going to be 3 euro. I usually go for canned drinks, but when I look at this menu, the house wine is kind of like cheaper than the the canned drinks. So, hmm. Decisions. Rada with salmon and some... Um, rocket. Rocket is what they call it. This is also arugula. Yes. Looks nice and thin and crispy. Yeah, it does. I like that they have these thin pizzas here in Italy. It's like super thin. How's the salmon fairy? Is it good? Because I smoke salmon. Not bad. I haven't tried the burrata cheese. Let me try that. Mm. The salmon is very fresh. I felt a strong cheese. And it usually goes really well with pizza with like other like meat or like fish. Because mm. it's like not overpowering. And it's right. It doesn't feel very strong or overpowering at all. It is very milky. Mm. So it's kind of like toning down the salmon a bit. That entire meal cost us 25 euro. That is 12.50 euro per person. With wine. With wine and dessert. Oh yeah, we did eat dessert. Yeah, didn't we? it was a full course. It was like pizza, dessert, and wine. It's two oh, wines. Huh. Good value. This yeah. is pretty good for Treviso. <laughs> what? Wait, I love Venice. So it's cheap compared to Venice. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Definitely. So Treviso has been walking through the streets, just been so much mellower. And of course, it's just there's not any tourists right now. There's locals, a lot of them are at work, some of them are leisurely strolling. It's the pace here, the vibe here is much more like. We're in the Piazza del Signori. I feel like I'm, I need to start doing this in a very Italian way. No offense, but it's the only way I feel like. I might get it right. Piazza del Signore. No. Piazza di Signore. Piazza di Signore. 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 Piazza or Piazza? Piazza. Piazza? Piazza. 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 Let me know down in the comment section below. 
these are such beautiful streets. I mean, in Venice, I really didn't have the opportunity to really appreciate the streets so much because they all felt kind of the same. They're narrower than this because they didn't have cars back then and they don't allow cars now. So this one is nice and wide. All the one in Venice are half the width. That's true. They're like little alleys and there's nothing wrong with that at all. But it's just two different feelings. Here we have the first uh, United Colors of Benetton store. I guess it was, it originated from here. Traveling Italy, it's easy, easy, easy to get cathedraled out because there's so many beautiful churches here. Um, everything's gothic or ornate or some kind of style um, reminiscent of medieval times. And here we have no different. We have the San Nicolo Church, um, super tall. It's probably the tallest cathedral I've seen. Um, very simple, simple looking on the outside with the red brick. Uh, but when you go inside, it's kind of its own museum. This is the Church of St. Nicholas. It's a 14th century Italian Gothic style that we're looking at. Go up there, there's a lovely painting. There are wall frescoes on these um, pillars. This must be the art area. Look at these gelato sandwiches. Oh, this must be the yogurt center. Did you get chocolate at the bottom? Yeah. You did? Okay. Oh, you're decadent. This is um, coffee, mascarpone coffee with chocolate chips. Uh, I think I'm gonna get that with some yogurt. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. You know what I've been noticing, Nam, is that whenever we go into gelato stores, <laughs> whenever we go into gelato stores, they're always kind of warm. Ah. They're not air conditioned. Like That's most why the ice, ice cream is put in those little tubs inside. That's why they're refrigerated. Okay. Not in the display cabinet. It's a weird feeling though when you go in expecting everything to be cool and chill and it's just kind of like warm. <laughs> Oh, this is really good. Is it? Okay. Try yours. There must be biscotti, right? Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's kind of like a little... It tastes a little like caramel biscotti. It's got biscotti bits in it, um, but there's a little... There's some chocolate bits in it as well, and kind of like a caramel taste. I know what the yogurt is. I love the yogurt, the natural mm. um, yogurt flavor. Okay. Even though it's mildly uh, chilled outside, oh, it tastes so good. Okay, here you have the city wall. More canals. There's one swan. Oh my god, there's a swan! Before she goes away. Different type of duck. Not bad. Piazza San Vito. It's a lovely square where you can just like hang out, a cafe. A fountain that's dripping. This is the church of San Vito. Got the tower there. Okay, we're at the Duomo. This is the baptistry of San Giovanni, and it's right next to the Duomo. Going in right now. We are in the Treviso Duomo. Look, you can see all the domes. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six domes.
Oh, it's very dark. So tombs. Apparently they have service down here, but if you wanna see this area um, when there's not service, you can always pay to illuminate this crypt area. And I guess that's how they get aid to restore some of those frescoes or maintain the church. Holy water. Look at all this candy. Look how cute this is. And look how dog friendly they are too. So Venice has a lot of good, awesome qualities, obviously, and that's why tourists like to go there. Um, Treviso, that's not necessarily on the tourist map. That's why it's good for people so who would like to get away from the crowd, who wants to have a place to explore leisurely, to see beautiful architecture still, and visit churches, and be like close to Venice, and somewhere way cheaper, like way cheaper. It feels more of a mellower town or city. Um, it's more like a living city than what you see in Venice because tourists outnumber the locals exactly. massively. Exactly. They do really good signposts around the city as well for like churches mm -hmm. and things, so. It's so like you can come here without research with your Google map and just walk around. Yeah, it's a great city to just stroll in. Kind of like take the day, walk around, take the photo. Like be relaxed. And yeah, it's so walkable that we like, I think we got from one end to the other in like surprisingly. less than half an hour. Yeah, surprisingly. Also the, the food here. It was easier to find food. I felt like it was yeah. easier to find food in a way. Way easier. You know, and the prices that, that we paid were a whole lot less. Yeah, more friendly, budget friendly. <laughs> definitely, definitely. And the food was good. The initial look of the city, because it's just outside the city wall, wasn't great. But once you get in, it's really pretty. Then it's really cute. Yeah. Leave some comments down below. Let me know what you would what you would pick. Venice, Treviso, or both? Or both. Or none. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Run away. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave a link uh, to Nam's information down below. You can check her out. Check her out on Instagram or on her blog. Until then, travel safe, smart, and fun. I will see you in Venice or Treviso or both. Or none. Or none. May the girl be with you. It's through resourcefulness and viewers like you who keep my channel going. So if you love what I do and want to see me continue creating solo travel videos, support me on Patreon. Travel safe, smart, and fun. And may the girl be with you.